There you are, oh, there you are, oh. Please note, not everything in this video may be true in real life circumstances. This is for roleplay purposes only. Please consult a professional equine before working with these animals. With that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So today, as you can see in the title, I have finally decided where I am going to move. I must say it was a rather difficult decision since there were so many good barns around, but I think I've finally come to my conclusion. Before we really get into where I'm going, I wanted to show you all the options I went through. I recorded a little bit everywhere I went to just show you guys around and explain a little bit about my options, what I had been looking for really, and honestly what I genuinely wanted in the barn that I was going to go to since I'm going to start showing Ace very soon and I also am looking for a few new project horses to take on, so it'll be quite interesting. was a few days ago. It's a lovely little rescue stable called Silver Waves Rescue. This place passed pretty much all my expectations. There are quite a few little barns scattered around as well as some paddocks. This place also has a big main barn where there are a few stalls open for boarding. They have two lovely open flat arenas and one show jumping arena. The owner was very kind and upfront with me about the condition of the stable and how they run things around there. Overall, I was very impressed and left on a great note. So this next place I visited is a lovely little area near Fergrove called Kingsman Estates. It's very fancy, um, it looks a lot different from what I thought it would be. It has a few outside stalls for like paddocks, you know the run-ins. It also has a few little wash stalls um, and a big main barn right in the middle where all the boarders and lesson horses usually are and it's actually very very organized the owners actually live on the property which is the clip i'm showing you right now and that is very very cool uh, overall it was quite nice but i'm not quite sure it's what i'm looking for This last barn I visited before making my decision is a lovely little rescue centre called New Heights Rescue. The owner does live on the property and that actually helps him manage a lot of things. This rescue has honestly changed my life for the better. I've seen a lot of horses being retrained and taken home by many lovely people and it's overall just a very lovely place. 
They have a nice indoor barn and holds a lot of horses. And they also have a few little in like kind of outdoor and indoor barns as you see in this clip here but they have a paddock right behind that there it's very organized honestly it's very very organized and it's just something beautiful now as much as i loved all of these stables i had to pick one so i went ahead and took a day or two to really think about it and I have finally come to my conclusion. If you thought I was going to go to Silver Waves Rescue, then you are correct. Um, as much as I did love New Heights Rescue, it wasn't what I was looking for because it was more focused on the rescue program and I'm more focused right now on the showing program and training program. and. Silver Waves Rescue has everything I need to go ahead and go for that. So while I was getting everything unpacked over at SWR, uh, my good friend Rainy brought all my horses over and honestly that was very kind of her, so big shout out to Rainy. Um, and whenever my horses got here, I got Poseidon and I spoke into the paddock. So now we have everything set in stone, but I do have a lot of paperwork to get done. Um, obviously you guys probably don't want to see me doing paperwork on camera, so I think I'm going to end the video here. So I really, really just want to thank you guys for watching, it's really motivating me to keep making videos, and I really can't wait to see where this new barn takes us. Next video we might even be going to see some lesson horses. I can't wait. See you guys next time. Bye.